They get themselves back up onto the horse again pretty quickly. That was Owen Kerrin just losing his way completely. And once more, Compton at the back just takes it out there for Roscommon. Deep into stoppage time. About two and a half minutes still to go. Margin of eight points. And it's not even the bad performance there. It's the total flop in both of those games against Tipperary. When, they, when it looked like they were going to be beaten, they didn't dig in, they didn't fight hard enough, they didn't do enough to turn it around. I think that's what Michael Lester was saying in our studio in third, is where you can enjoy the Munster hurling final. Cork versus Clare coming up at four o'clock. That should be a right good game. That uh, maybe... Maybe because Galway have scored since the 23rd minute of uh, this second half, that... Uh, Maybe they just read the publicity. Maybe they saw themselves as title winners before they ever got here. Well, I don't know how they could, Gerald. They haven't done enough, and they haven't been doing enough. And last year should have been a shock for them. Their exit in the championship against Tipperary should have been enough for them not to have learned that lesson. That's Killoran, and he's got a score as well. The margin's out to nine, as it was at one stage, after they scored their second goal. And then you remember that Galway did manage to get it back to three. And it's a route at this stage. They've been totally overhauled by a Ross Common team who look much more determined, interested, way, way more desired than Galway have had. Shane Walsh, scorer of, set of uh, six points. But deep around midfield, now an injection of pace to try and carry himself past a couple of Ross Common backs. But at this stage, it's a hopeless case, and he well knows it. Liam Silk. In here, Sice, and even that won't go in the back of the Roscommon net for Gary Sice. No, everything they've done this afternoon, in fact, he chose the wrong side of the goal to kick that in the most spaces on his left-hand side as it is bearing down on goal. But all their decisions have been poor, nothing has happened. For, they've made nothing happen to her this afternoon. They haven't looked like a team who have gone out with a structure, and I say Kevin Walsh, and, and you can't blame Kevin Walsh all for this players on the pitch have to take responsibility which they didn't do this afternoon I think Kevin McStay has gone has he having uh, congratulated having congratulated uh, or having a word or commiserate maybe I should say with Kevin Walsh no Galway score for over 20 minutes it's a 9 point victory for Ross Common the outsiders have come to Galway they have won the Nestor Cup for the first time since 1978 it's the first time they've won the title for 7 years They've beaten Galway in Galway and they have hammered them in the Connacht final. No doubt whatsoever about it. Well prepared by their manager Kevin McStay and the coaching team. They richly deserve their title. They richly and truly earned their victory. And this is how they're going to celebrate. In style, with passion, with commitment, with fervour. The look of champions, what it means to be supporting winners, what it means to be in the doldrums for so long, to be written off by many people in a province where Mayo dominated for years and then where Galway were always likely to take up the mantle if Mayo slipped. But today was the day of Roscommon football. They came good. They performed some sparkling football this afternoon. They scored two cracking goals. This young man will remember it as it's a special day for his team. And here in Pierce Stadium in Salt Hill, they are the champions and they are supporting the champions and they're going to cheer all the way back to their homes in County Roscommon. Truly a magnificent day for Roscommon football.